Now let's talk about how writing is scored. So how do you get your score and what do you need to do in order to receive the highest score? Let's have a look. So you're going to write two essays and each essay is going to receive from 0 to 5 points. So you're going to have from 0 to 10 points in total. Then they're going to count the arithmetic mean or the average of your essay. So let's say your first essay was four points and then your last essay was five points. Then they combine these two scores, you received nine points, and then they divide it by two to get the arithmetic mean. So you receive 4.5 points. Then they look at the table and they convert this score to their scaled score from zero to 30. So let's say you have 4.5 arithmetic mean, then your score for the writing section is going to be 20. Eight. But of course, you do not have to memorize any of that, it doesn't matter, it is just to make you familiar with how the writing is scored and how do you receive from 0 to 30. So now let's discuss the scoring standards. So how do you get the perfect score for writing number one, for the integrated essay? So this is a copy paste from the official standards. So this is how they phrased it in the official guide, okay? So a response successfully selects the important information from the lecture and coherently and accurately presents this information in relation to the relevant information presented in the reading. So basically, you need to pick all the important information from the reading, all the important information from the listening, and then write it very accurately and coherently together. This is basically what it is. Next, the response is well organized and occasional language errors that are present do not result in an accurate or imprecise presentation of content or connection. So your response needs to be logical, well-developed or well-organized, and the mistakes that you make with the language should be minor. They should not obscure the meaning, and also they should not cause problems of understanding the material from the reading and from the listening. So if you're presenting the material inaccurately, you made a mistake about facts or imprecise, again, you presented the facts, but not exactly, then you're going to lose points. So it has to be a very good presentation of the content and their connection. And it has to be logical and well organized. So you see that there are just two criteria for a perfect writing number one essay. And of course, we're going to talk about how you need to organize your essay so that it fits perfectly in the scoring standard. Now let's have a look at scoring standards for a perfect writing number two or independent essay. Effectively addresses the topic and task. So you need to answer what you're asked about is well-organized and well-developed using clearly appropriate explanations, exemplifications and or details. So again, it's all about the logic, good organization, so that your response is coherent. And of course, we're going to talk about all those cliches, all this planning, all the structures, which will make your response very coherent, logical and well-developed. Displace unity, progression and coherence. Again, I will give you all the cliches and all the structures which will help you to make your essay united and coherent. Displace consistent facility in the use of language, demonstrating synthetic variety, appropriate word choice and idiomaticity, though it may have minor lexical or grammar errors. So you see that minor errors are okay as long as overall the essay is good, okay? So you use the language well, just make some little errors. If you do that, then your essay can receive a great score. So these are the scoring standards for your essays number one and number two. This is how we reach an ideal score. And of course, we're going to discuss how do you plan your essays so that they match every single scoring standard here and that they have the ability to receive the high score. Thanks for watching.